In today's video, we will have a look at the anatomy of the lateral collateral ligaments of the elbow. So let's start off with the bony anatomy. Obviously you know the basic bony anatomy with the radius, ulna and the distal humerus. Then we have the lateral or radial epicondyle. Here it is important to remember that we have this flat area here and then this ramp down to the capitellum. We come back to that later in the MR images. Now let me turn this to the lateral view here. So this is now a view onto the lateral epicondyle and then we have here the radial notch where the radial head lies in. So this is the radial notch and from the radial notch we have this crest here. So this rim, this crest here is called the supinator crest and sometimes you have a little tubercle about at this region here which is also where the lateral ulnar, ulnar collateral ligament inserts. So the lateral ulnar collateral ligament is inserting here onto this supinator crest. Now let's have a look at the lateral ligaments. First we have the annular ligament which keeps the radial head in the radial fossa of the ulna here running all the way around and this is very easy to remember annular ligament there. Then this is like a coronal view and here we now have the radial ligament which is running here from this ramp that I mentioned down and inserting or blending together with fibers of the annular ligament. Behind the radial ligament, so posteriorly, lies the origin of the lateral ulnar collateral ligament, also known as the leucal, and it runs distally, blending together also with parts of the annular ligament and then running around the radial neck, inserting onto the supinator crest. Now some authors describe that there is a, a fan-like or a fan-shaped portion which inserts more proximally onto the supinator crest and the thicker band inserting down onto the tubercle there. Now I made this transparent because it's running behind the radial head. Now let's rotate the elbow a little bit and let's see how these ligaments are actually oriented. Again the annular ligament very simple. Radial ligament starts to come forward a little bit and here is now better visible the lateral ulnar collateral ligament still running down here onto the supinator crest behind the distal or the proximal radius. Therefore it's transparent. And then sometimes people describe an accessory lateral collateral ligament which is not really important and you will have a hard time to separate it from the annular ligament anyway. So probably this is just the distal portion of the annular ligament. Then again, turning further, annular ligament, radial ligament, and you can see how it's kind of fan-shaped here as well. And behind the radial ligament is the lateral ulnar collateral ligament going down onto the tubercle and the supinator crest here. Again, accessory lateral collateral ligament. Then this is now more or less a lateral view. We have the annular ligament also inserting here, keeping the radial head in place. We have the radial ligament here and posteriorly we have the origin of the lateral ulnar collateral ligament inserting onto the crest and here again the accessory lateral collateral ligament. So here we have a PD fat set and the easiest way to identify these ligaments is starting off with the coronals and this is now anteriorly we have the radial head, the capitellum, then we have here the flat surface of the radial epicondyle where we have the origin of the common extensor tendons and Going anteriorly again, you can see this thin stripe here. This is the radial collateral ligament, which is then blending in with portions here of the annular ligament. Now we scroll back, then we see it a little bit broader insertion or origin here. And these are now portions of the lateral ulnar collateral ligament, which are running down, also blending in together with the annular ligament but then wrapping around here and inserting onto the crest here that we will see here in a minute on the transverse sections. So this is the course that the lateral ulnar collateral ligament is taking. Again anteriorly lies the radial collateral ligament, posteriorly is the lateral ulnar collateral ligament. Now frequently you cannot really separate these ligaments 
from each other so just to keep that in mind it's basically just more anteriorly is the radial one and posteriorly is the lateral ulnar collateral ligament above the ligaments we have the extensor tendons which are not the topic of today's video very helpful to orientate is also the transverse sections as you can appreciate here but i'm zooming in now we have the origin of the extensor tendons as i mentioned before and deep to the origin here a little bit more distally as well is the origin of the lateral collateral ligaments so this is all these two ligaments so the radial one anteriorly and the lateral ulnar collateral ligament here start o starting off with the lateral ulnar collateral ligament you can see it's get quite confusing here then we have the annular ligament and these fibers are all blending together so our lateral ligament complex is then blending here together with this one here and you can now start to see this band here inserting onto the tubercle of the supinator crest so this is basically the lateral ulnar collateral ligament running up here originating somewhere here and the more anterior one is the radial collateral ligament blending in here and then we kind of lose it already just to show you this one again here so anteriorly this one is the radial collateral ligament here blending with the annular ligament and going more distally we can now see here portions of the lateral ulnar collateral ligament that are then running around the neck here inserting here onto the tubercle of the supinator crest and just here to show you this again in a non-fat saturated sequence here again PD this one is the radial collateral ligament blending with the annular ligament and we have the broader portion of the lateral ulnar collateral ligament wrapping around here inserting onto the crest here here again common extensor tendons origin of the lateral collateral ligaments blending with the annular ligament and then we can see this nice lateral ulnar collateral ligament down here so now that you know the anatomy of the lateral collateral ligaments, come back next week when we have a look at different pathologies there. And with that, thanks for watching and see you next time.